Hi everyone, today I'm going to be sharing with you how I managed to get 10 million streams last year on Spotify alone. My name is Daniel Chia and if you're new to this channel, do subscribe and hit the bell notifications icon and also let me know down in the comments if there are any other videos you would like me to make. Now, many of you know Spotify, you use Spotify daily, it's probably one of the easiest way to find music and listen, save the music onto playlists and enjoy music everywhere you go. And of course, you've also heard of many people complaining about the meager payouts that Spotify pays their artists for each stream. But when you start to get many, many streams, this amount actually ends up being quite a nice sum. But in this video, I'm going to be sharing with you how we can start to hit more and more streams up to the millions or even billions like some artists. The very simple answer is Spotify playlists. So Spotify playlists are where people can add your music on almost like a radio station and let it play through and this is where most people will get the bulk of their streams. So I managed to get 10 million streams, more than 1.1 million listeners in 2020 and this is so phenomenal and I'm so blessed by that. And the main way I was able to achieve that is by getting on 12,400 Spotify playlists. So if you want to find out more, I did a recent video about that which you can check out right here. So Spotify playlists are a great way to get streams passively because once you're added on these playlists, it is quite unlikely that they'll remove you unless it is like New Music Friday playlist or any of these weekly playlist charts where these entries will maybe not even get taken out but get pushed further down the list. So the first way I was able to get on so many playlists and therefore get so many streams is by contacting all the user-created playlists that are related to my genre. Basically, I went onto Spotify, I searched instrumental saxophone, saxophone, many different keywords to find all the playlists that have saxophone music and I went to find out who these curators are and try to track them down on social media. After I track down some of them, I'm able to contact them, send them my music to let them see if they are keen to add my music to their playlist. And to my surprise, many of these playlists decided to add my music. And once you form a relationship with these guys, you can send them your music with every new album that you create. So of course, the number of streams you get from each of these playlists will vary very widely, but I feel strongly that this is something that is very much in our control, just needs a bit more effort to hunt down these playlist curators and submit your music and the rewards can be really handsome. So once again, really focus on finding as many Spotify playlists that are related to your genre, reach out to these curators and submit your music. Now, I know some of you might have seen companies advertising that they can get you on hundreds of thousands of playlists. If you pay them a certain amount, they'll submit your music. So many of these companies, they will submit to these curators which have not many followers and this may not equate to many streams for you. I would generally try to stay away from people who can promise you that they can get you on X number of playlists. I would rather do it myself and really build that relationship with playlist curators because if they can find these playlists, so can you. I would really suggest to stay away from any paid plans and just try to find these playlists on your own. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell notifications and let me know if you have any other such videos you want to hear and I'll gladly share it with you guys.